One person is fatally shot, two others wounded this morning in southwest suburban Bolingbroke. Now police are searching for Carl Tynes, who was a suspect in these shootings. Tynes is reportedly related to one of the victims. Five children who were also in the home at the time apparently are safe following this fatal shooting. The violence started about 6.30 this morning in a house that's located at 105 South Lancaster in Bolingbroke. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte joins us live from Good Samaritan Hospital in Downers Grove, where the two injured victims are now being treated. Sarah? Well, no, we just spoke with a doctor from Good Samaritan. He says that one of those male victims is in critical condition, the other in serious condition. Meantime, murder charges have been filed against the suspect, Carl Tynes. Police say that he is still at large, believed to be somewhere in the Rockford area. Police also tell us just a short time ago his car was found torched in the Rockford area. Again, all of this took place this morning just about around 6.30. Erica Edmonds is not about to let go of her three-year-old daughter for a long time. The toddler and four other children managed to escape this Bolingbroke home before police say Carl Tynes went on a shooting spree, injuring two people and killing another. Ivy Yan Bui is related to one of the children that lived inside the home. I got the call from another one of our family members that told me, you know, you're the closest. Where's Bolingbroke Police Station? Can you get over there? The shooting took place inside a home that backs up to the property of the Bolingbroke Village Hall. Police say they were notified when five kids between the ages of 3 and 17 came running into the police station lobby asking for help. The mother of two of those children was already dead inside the home. Her ex-boyfriend and his friend, who are also residents of the home, were also shot. One of the men ran to his neighbors for help, while the other ran to Village Hall before collapsing into the parking lot. Neighbors had no idea what was going on. I saw two individuals run out of the back, out of this back area here, into the village hall. And at that same time, the police was driving up. It was someone was already parked here. They was driving up with the guns drawn out. Police say the suspect, Carl Tynes, fled in his car, leaving a 9mm handgun at the scene. Tynes is the cousin of one of the male victims. Police say the shooting occurred after a family argument. Meantime, the two male victims are being treated at Good Samaritan Hospital. The uh, male in critical condition uh, was taken to the operating room uh, for multiple gunshot wounds. Uh, he had uh, damage control uh, surgery for multiple uh, injuries to his uh, intestine and his uh, aorta. And again, the other male is in serious condition. The female that was killed in this case, she is 36 years old. She was the mother of two of the children that were in the house. Again, none of the children were injured. Names of all the victims have not been released. Again, though, the suspect in this case is still at large, and murder charges have been already filed against him. A bond set at $3 million. Live at Good Samaritan Hospital in Downers Grove, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News. Linda Sylvia, back to you. All right, Sarah, thanks very much.